I'm a girl and by me that's only great I am proud that my silhouette is curvy That I walk with a sweet and girlish gait With my hips kind of swivelly and swervy I adore being dressed in something frilly When my date comes to get me at my place Out I go with my Joe or John or Billy Like a filly who is ready at the race When I have a brand new hairdo With my eyelashes all in curl I float as the clouds on air do I enjoy being a girl Real smart dog. Uh, yep. So you, do you want to go relive your first encounter with Mr. Duke? I do. Oh! Let's go way back, Norm. Uh, Norm? You're up. How does that you're go? Up, Norm. Mr. Peabody, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. In the flesh. Hi, hi. Norm! Hi. It's always such a pleasure to be with you. Likewise. At nice the event. See. At the event. Um, we just talked to, they got that, Ronnie yeah. Ressler. This Ronnie, is his rookie year. Ronnie Russell. Did I say his name wrong? Yeah. <gasps> it's Ronnie Russell, but it is his rookie year here. Okay, He's I said his name wrong. We're going to have to retract that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> now you have a history with him since 2019. I wish he had corrected Welcome me. Welcome to the machine. To the machine. The not way back, but the present machine. Mm -hmm. Now, Norm, you recommended for him to be here today. This is like a recurring theme between you and Gary. Everyone has a connection through you guys to this event. Yeah, we usually have five or six or seven of the pro bowlers every year that come down and support the event. So they help the people locally here in Florida where a few of us live. We do the same thing with them when they ask us, and it's a match made in heaven. This tournament, though, we have all these other celebrities that, you know, they make us nervous. When what? You're, yeah, when you're Norm around. Duke doesn't get nervous. When they, hey, when they have Super Bowl rings that they're showing. Yeah, I am that, that's out of my league there. <laughs> yeah. Please. Well, that's true, though. We do have, what, uh, retired NFL, NBA. We have Andy from Major All League of Baseball. Them. All of them. Olympic gold medalists. You? That's right. We that's have you. We have yeah. you. You do have me. And it's all for the kids. So yeah. the, the best thing about this event is that we've all come together as a community and we're supporting the next generation, really. Well, exactly. And, you know, they'll do the same and, and so on and so on. That's true. You never know what, yeah. what little celebrity is going to come out of this great group of kids. Yeah, thanks for being here for them, by the way. It's my pleasure. I hope you have a phenomenal game today. I hope these guys are not <laughs> picking on you too much. I can tell he's trouble. He is trouble. You have no idea. <laughs> You're open to a lot of things. Like I can remember you loving to sing and dance. I don't know what you're talking about. I was really kind of thinking, because Anthony's here, that maybe we should have a dance off. Not with me, like between the two of you. But if I do recall, you are the dancer. Right. Oh, oh but see, yeah. I'm retired from dancing. So what does that you're make me? You're retired from basketball. So therefore, I'm not asking you to play basketball. I'm asking you to dance. I'm playing golf. <laughs> I'm a basketball off shoot off right right a dance off anthony was serenading everyone earlier today did you hear that you missed that no i really heard about it <laughs> <laughs> all right all right both back to the point thank you so much for being here today i know you're big on the community and we really appreciate it is there any tips or trips that you want to give to the guys out here about the community of golf, golf. no i don't want to give them nothing uh I'm trying to Nothing. beat them. I'm trying to win. Why would I give them some points? You know you're on speakerphone. True competitor right here. Well, I'm going to find out what your score is at the end, and I'm going to wait to give you a big high five. I hope I'm getting that high five. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it now. All right, we're watching you. Dead in the middle. Jeff Chase. Yes. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure. This is a, a great thing. I think this is the fourth or fifth time, maybe six. I don't know. I don't, I don't count very well. Um, but uh, it's always great to be here at this. Uh, it's a just great group of people, and it puts on a really nice tournament. I hear you're a local, which so many times yes. people are coming in from out of town, but you are truly, this is your community. Yeah, I mean, I don't live like right here or anywhere. Not in the golf I mean, I've slept no. in these woods before, <laughs> looking for my ball, I fell asleep. Um, <laughs> 
But uh, no, I live in Windermere. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've lived in Central Florida since 1998. So uh, I guess I'm not a local because they say, you know, are you are you from here? You have to like really be from here from like the 70s. What? I consider myself a local. I've only been here 15 years. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're you're you really shouldn't do that. People. They don't appreciate they, it. They really won't. Matter of fact, they've probably been talking about you. I, I heard someone say it. She says she's local. She's not really. But, uh, you can... No, that's good to know. I'll stop saying that. I am not a local. <laughs> well. <laughs> but you are a fan of the Qantas Club. I am. I am. I've been, uh, actually, I was involved with the Qantas Club even before I got involved with Gary. Uh, um, a while back, I you know, was attending meetings and stuff. It's just, it's a great group of people. They're always doing something that benefits the community and, uh, it's a, a good group. You can feel comfortable being part of a charitable organization that you know does good with their money. There's so many around that you could be fooled by, and I've always felt very comfortable. Well, I tell you, the events that I enjoy the most are when the people are the most passionate about yes. what they're representing and where the money is going to go. And this event, year after year after year, always has passionate celebrities, and of course, Gary's right behind them. A lot of times you're playing these tournaments, and some of the guys don't even know what what it's about. Right. And uh, I think everybody that's here today, um, except for myself, knows why I'm here. Because why we're here? Because I really don't know. I, they told me it was golf, but I thought it was miniature golf. And then now we're on this. It's really hard. My ball went right there, by the way. I had my tee off. You know. Wait, were there. you the one that was just yelling at, sign. at United? I hit the sign. Yeah. Yeah. I hit the yeah sign. that scared me. I jumped yeah. in my seat. I yeah, thought the ball was coming I'm to me. I'm used to playing it off the windmill, so. <laughs> Uh, I thought I would try something fancy, but it didn't work out. All right, happy yeah. Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a great day. Thank you so much All for right. stopping and talk. Now you got to speed ahead and catch up to your team. Yeah, hopefully I'll let them hit the ball. I can just say, great job, let's move on. Woohoo, cheerleader. Yeah. Cheerleader right here. Jeff, right. thank you so thank much. Thank you. I thought they kept you oh, look at it. Oh, look at that. Look at that ball return. Oh, for you. you. There it is. There's, there's the evidence. That's the sign right there. That's off the tee. Look at that. What sign did you hit? Um... United, uh, United, which one? United Southern Bank. United, United Southern Bank. Bank. They said, hit the sign. Mr. Bruce Hall, Hello. you are no stranger to the microphone. No. Hi. Hi. Do you mind if we do a quick interview? Sure. All right. Bruce Hall, bass guitarist, vocalist for REO Speedwagon. We were talking about music earlier. Yes, and we were. You obviously have a deep passion for music, and it's funny because we're at a golf course, and it's just quiet as can be. I What's know. it like being in silence? Well, you have to have silence, too. You know? Music is a beautiful thing, but then so is solid, solitude. So we come out here to, to this group I'm playing with. They're, they're pretty nuts, so it's, like, <laughs> it's kind of been entertaining. Yeah, it's great. I feel like this event's kind of known for that. It's just a really good time. It's been, it has been a ball. I mean, I don't know where they found these guys, but but, but they, they joke like crazy. And we're having the best time. I don't know who's the best golfer of the group, but it sure seems like uh, it changes. <laughs> it changes from hole to hole. That sounds about right. Yeah. Bruce, this is your first year. So what drew you to this event? I was invited by uh, my friend John. Machini, and uh, he invited me to come, and I like Kiwanis a lot. The kids again, there we go, about the babies. Yeah, I like to help kids whenever they need help, so this is nothing. Play golf and make help kids, this is great. Done deal, it's a win-win, right? Yes. <laughs> well, I hope that you do win, or at least have a lot of fun trying. We're going to give it the best we can. Oh, that was a good, nice. See, he's a good cheerleader too, supporting the team. <laughs> That's right, I'm a team man. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bruce, thank you so much for your time. Have a blast. <laughs> Stop, sir. I need to speak with you. I'm not sure why you need to speak with me. You can stand, stay there because you're no. really tall. No! Hi! <laughs> Anthony, how are you today? I'm doing fantastic. Partly because you serenaded myself and everybody here <laughs> with that beautiful voice of yours. Where well, have you been hiding that? Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, you know, just having fun, enjoying myself. And, you know, I got these guys back here with me. Uh, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm going to go to the gym after I leave from here. You know, I've been carrying these guys from the, from the hole that we started on. But 
We you're carrying them. You need to go to the spa and relax. No, 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 no. You know, you know, if, if you work hard, you got to work harder to work it out. So that's what I'm going to do, you know, so, but. Bullshit. You know. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is a good group. I, I, I okay. We're gonna keep going with this one. Yes. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> hey, how you doing, man? Oh, yeah, doing can I get a smile from you today? There we go. That's what I tell you that. You know, Anthony, I spoke to Bo Outlaw, and I attempted to make a dance off between the two of you, and mm -hmm. he totally turned me down on that one. Well, I'm glad he did because. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, if you know, Bo know all the dances. He knows every dance there is that's out today, I know. And, and he definitely can dance. I know. See, when not I to, not when, to say that I'm shabby, but I'm just saying he can dance. Well, when I was a magic dancer, when we go on the court to practice before the game, him and Dwight Howard would be dancing on that's the side, it, doing leaps across the that's court. It. So I thought, yeah, we can totally do this. That's Ooh, right. You, him, it would be awesome. Well, I don't know about all that, but uh, I'll, I'll sit back and watch that that, that battle. <laughs> Well, then I'm just going to feel very fortunate that I got to hear you sing today. Well, thank you. And I'm going to thank, thank you, you once again for being involved because you do come back year after year and we very much appreciate it. Yes, yeah, so, you know, it's uh, it's one of those things that you just come and enjoy yourself. And uh, I think this is the 10th year and, you know, 10 years running and hope for another 10 years and, you know, one year at a time. I love that. You think, right, it is the 10th year. And you yes. know what? There'll be very many more. Yes. So you have a great game today thank and you. we'll be in touch. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh you know, I actually see this guy in the gym all the time. I am You are there. pumping iron. I I'm, assume it's to prep for this. I'm trying to remember yesterday, but it, unfortunately tomorrow shows up, so that's the problem, you know. <laughs> but, uh, but it's always great, though, to be in this tournament. This is probably one of the premier tournaments that we play in. In our NFLPA group, we have about 150-some players here in Central Florida, and we uh, are selective in the tournaments we play in. And it's terrific to be part of this charity and just the whole group that are associated with it, people like yourself and everybody else helping out, you couldn't ask for more. So, you know, I can only say congratulations to Gary and all the people that worked hard and to you going around. Top thing you forced to talk to all these players. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Well, you know, when I talk to Gary, Gary says you're a bit of a saving grace, too, because with celebrities, their commitments are so strong that you never know if everyone is truly going to be able right, to make it. Right, and right. he always goes to you at I the 11th hour and says, Mike, I, I had someone a, drop. Well, okay, can you find me someone? And I you have always sort of the lockbox. I've actually been the president of the entire NFL Player Association nationally, twice elected by the players. So I can make a few phone calls and fill in a few spots of call upon. So, uh, and I'm glad I can help, you know, so I, <laughs> but Gary, you need to allow me to have two ice cream cones instead of one next year, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I sign off on that. that. No, that's code for vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I sign off on that too. <laughs> Nothing like just creeping up on a guy and just interviewing him, putting a microphone in his <laughs> oh face. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm Hi, scared to Andy death. Hi, Andy McGaffigan, how are you today? I'm hot and sweaty, but having a great time. It's fun here. Oh, and clearly your teammates are too. One of them just won a challenge. I know, he's a, he's an a, he's our A player, by, by far, by far. Yeah, we're having a great time. It's nice to be out here at Champions Gate again. And uh, Kiwanis, can't say enough about the organization. It's fun. Well, and you do come back year after year, so is there a reason why you're so pro Kiwanis of South Lake? I just like the organization. You know, nationwide they do wonderful work for a lot of different charities and, and it's just it's part of giving back. You know, I played baseball for a long time and played in a lot of events and these are the types of events that I like to play in where there's a lot of community support. You know, I have to say I'm very proud of our athletes because whenever they retire, you guys always seem to want to give back to the community that supported you during your years. That's right. You know, we've been blessed to, to play a game that we love. We have a lot of football players, a lot of basketball players, and now I think I'm the only baseball guy out mm -hmm. here, so there's only a few of us around. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a part of uh, giving back and being a part of our community, and, and who doesn't like golf, right? Right. I mean, even if you don't like it, you get to hang out on a golf cart, drink, and have fun. That's right. And <laughs> listen to good music and uh, enjoy good company. So it's all good. Well, I hope you continue to have a wonderful day and good luck with your game. Maybe you'll be the next winner. Well, let's hope so. That would be my <laughs> idea. Good job. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> awesome. Barry Wagner, former NFL player.
What are you doing here today? I have no idea. That's a good question. <laughs> I'm enjoying the beautiful women, the sun, mm -hmm. and the sunshine, and uh, the good cause. You know what? I, I told him I need to get paid for this. You're going <laughs> to harass me. <laughs> Well, I hope you have an amazing game today. You enjoy this beautiful Florida weather. I mean, it doesn't get better than this, right? Uh, the wind won't blow on to be perfect. Mm, that <laughs> you know, is a the problem. The clouds will go a little farther than the wind won't blow on. But it, it, the group of people I'm playing with is awesome. They, they're so awesome. Right I have now. to remember that I just sit in the cart. So the wind, the breeze is great for me. Yeah, it's great, but <laughs> not for the ball. Not for the ball. Not for the ball. So uh, I get called the human bowling ball because I was 220 pounds and uh, not very many linebackers could get down there and fight with me and, and, and win. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, a guy named Ray May, who was a, an all-pro weak side linebacker for the Baltimore Colts, is the one that probably pinned that on me. And then uh, uh, he just happened to be a week we were playing a Monday night game and Howard Cosell and Don Meredith were there. And, so then Howard Cosell picked up the, he called me the roly-poly bowling ball. <laughs> After that, it was um, uh, it was pretty neat. Everybody in my family got a bowling ball for Christmas because every fun. time every time I go to practice, there'd be another bowling ball in my in my locker. So I, they were sending them to me from all over the country. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty good nickname. All right, well, I think that's fair, right? Yeah, totally absolutely. fair. Yeah, so we'll try to do that. working hard. We'll see. Okay, we're going we're gonna to find out. Okay. All right, so you are here today because of the Kiwanis Club of South Lake. Mm -hmm. Have you been inspired by the kids in Kiwanis Club, or how do you know about this event? I um, actually found out through Norm Duke, a oh, fellow bowler. Yeah. Um, he told me about this about three months ago, and I told him I'd be excited to come down and play. I'm from Indiana, so I've been having a good time with it. We're big fans of Norm Duke. Big, big I'm fans. Big We're fan actually looking Duke. for him right now. He's right there. So you're good to go. Yep. Fabulous. He will be our next interview. So I'm so glad he told you about us. Yeah. What do you think of the event so far? It's amazing. I didn't even know what I was getting into. It's amazing, though. I want to come back next year already. Oh, music to my ears. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I hope you have a great game. I know you have a great team mm -hmm. amongst you. And I hope you have a lot of fun. Thanks. You too. All right. Take care. Mm -hmm. Right next. Keep we're going to trip you up, Brad. Just trip you up right now. <laughs> can we stop yeah. you for a fast interview? You can try. You can stay in your car if you want. <laughs> try. You can stay right there. I'll come to you. Oh, my hey, goodness. Mr. Brett Rice. Great. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. You look very comfortable. I am very comfortable and very happy. Oh, oh, good. I'm, happy I'm very happy to meet you. We haven't met before. No, we haven't. Well, so, 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 oh, hi. It's good to see you once again today. Megan, Brett, Brett, Brett Megan. Megan. Now we all know Who's each other. Who's that guy? Todd. Hey, Todd. Ooh, we just met today. Edwin. 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 Edwin the sound man. All right. Edwin actually has a great smile when he smiles. He there it is. Ed Gosh, he An does. Anthony called him out on that one. <laughs> so, Brett, tell me, how's your day going so far? It's going great. i got a bunch of great guys that play golf very well, and I am just here dragging them down. <laughs> I was there. Are you elevating their game, or Not are they elevating chance. yours? Well, they're elevating oh, mine. <laughs> Certainly they are. And I'm just glad to be with them. That's awesome. And we're glad to have you. This event Thank is for the Kiwanis Club of mm -hmm. South Lake. So you are directly impacting the kids in that region. Well, I'm proud to do so. It's, uh, it's a great group. I mean, Gary Tolley and the whole whole uh, team that's out here putting it together, they're doing a hell of a job. Hell they are. Job. This is their 10th year. Can you believe it? I've been going to it for about seven now. So, <laughs> yeah. so he can believe it. Yeah. I love coming out here. It's a lot of fun. Well, you know what? Thank you very much for coming back well, here Megan, after year. You're certainly welcome, and I uh, hope to see you again next year. Absolutely, and I apologize for stopping you mid-drive, hey, but I appreciate the drive-by interview. You let me stay in the shade in the cart sitting down. I did. I'm you're, nice. You, you are know. a nice woman. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Have a great day. Okay. Dawson, how are you doing Ms. today? Megan, how are you? I'm good. You know, I just found out the couple years that I was unable to be here. Were you? Did you do my job? Oh, uh, no. One time I was out of commission, so I did take over. I substituted. Well, I was clearly out of commission, too. I was either very pregnant or I was getting married. Uh -huh. Well, that, those are two good excuses for missing this tournament, but very thank few. You. Well, right. thank you for filling in. You're great on camera. You're great behind the scenes. Well, that's very kind of you to say. I don't know about that, but I sure do have a lot of fun, particularly with these guys. The Florida Dermatology crew is like, they're so together. <laughs> One, they love the game, but they also, they're, they're real conscious about what what's going on in the world and, and 
what we need to do to take care of ourselves, like skincare and whatnot. Of course. Like, I noticed you guys are decked out in your sunscreen. Well, I got my, you know, yep, I protect, smart. but they, you know, they have a little booth here on, on what hole was it? Number 10, I think. We um, didn't get there yet. We'll get to booth 10. Yeah. Or, and or uh, 10. they're handing out all sorts of sunscreen and, and giving you advice and stuff. Like, Do you, you see know. what color I am? Mm -hmm. I need the sunscreen. Well, here, I have some. Oh. Are you hey, show me one of the sunscreen me? things, will you? I am so honored right now. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, we should talk about Kiwanis. Yes, we should. And you what, come back and year after year after year. Why? Well, you, I, I, I was talking to the guy who's the president of the club, and when I was in high school, I was in the tea club. And then I, I went to Kiwanis luncheons all the time. When, and then afterwards, I, I wasn't ever in a place uh, again until I got to Orlando where there was a Kiwanis. And then I got invited to South Lake a few times when we were making a couple of movies. So we just kept coming back. And, but it's also about expectations, about how it's got to be a balanced equation. So we do give back. I mean, my joy here is I get to play golf with these guys. So what, I mean, you know. What, how, it's totally a winning situation right, right there. Right. So, you know, I think that, that um, giving to the community and being part of what, whatever's happening around kids. I have two grandkids and three children of my own. So, you know, there's nothing you won't do for them. Why wouldn't you? Reggie Brand, Super Bowl champion, we always need you. How are you today? Oh, every day is a good day. It's always good to come out here and play in this golf tournament every year. I've been here for about the last so many years. So. And that was going to be my next question: Is you seem to come back year after year after year, which is incredible, especially for the kids at South Lake. But why do you come back? The reason I come back, though, because it's all uh, my mom always told me to give back. And as a situation, you know, it's like, uh, for one thing, as giving back is something that she taught me. And I want to, every time you guys have the golf tournament, I want to be here to help raise money and give back. You know, as a Super Bowl champion, there's so many different characteristics that you have between loyalty and determination. Do you feel like you bring that to your everyday life now that you're retired? Yeah, as what it is, though, uh, what my mom told me also, say, son, it's like, you know, you work for a certain period of time. And then as the, as after that, you enjoy yourself as, you know, do things around people and be around positive people, not negative people. I like your mama. Oh, yeah, I love her too, though. <laughs> okay. Mr. Tom Sterner, thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for being here. Uh, appreciate and, uh, the invitation and thank the Kiwanis Club for, for inviting me out today. Am I correct in knowing that you spent 25 years in this, as an assistant coach in the NBA? That's correct, yeah. What were your years with the Orlando Magic? Uh, 1990 through 2001, and then I came back a second time uh, with Brian Hill. Uh, that would have been like the Dwight Howard, Turk yeah. Blue, Grant Hill, those guys. I was dancing for those years. Oh, I was trying to figure out if we were there at the same time. I was there 04 to 09. Okay. Uh, Yep. I would have been there 04, 05, like I say, whenever Dwight and, and those guys yeah. were there. Turk uh, was a good uh, buddy. Grant Hill, obviously, I know really well. So uh, it was just great to have the opportunity to come back with the Magic. Very cool. Well, as a coach, whether it's an assistant coach, head coach, any coaching position, you have a tendency to just be a mentor in and out. So do you find that your team is mentoring you or are you mentoring them? Uh, these guys are carrying me right now. So, so <laughs> That's I, a common I, thread amongst the celebrities. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just thankful they're here today. So... I'm here for moral support. Um, try to help out whenever I can, but uh, no, my team's doing a great job right now, and, and I'm just thankful that they're here. Very fun. Now, you do know this is for the Kiwanis Club of South Lake. Correct. You are really directly benefiting the children in the South Lake community. Is there a reason why you agreed to do this? Did you have a connection, or did you just want to do a good thing today? Well, I, I, one of the guys that plays out here, and I got to know Norm Duke. Oh, really we well. all know Norm. We all know Norm. So <laughs> because of Norm, he asked me to come on out and support uh, Anthony Bowie's here, Bo Outlaw's here. Uh, all of us, I think, that are in professional sports love to give uh, back, and we love to be able to support uh, especially great uh, uh, great things like this, like the Kiwanis Club and what they do for so many people. And uh, we just want to be here and be thankful that we're here, and if we can help out, that's what we're here for. How's your name going? My okay. name's, my right. name is going great. All right, good. Uh, Pisarkowitz. Perfect. Did I say it right? Yeah, perfect. Okay. 
I feel like my interviews with you is like testing myself to see if I'm actually good at my job. One of the length just freaks everybody out. But you get it perfect. You get it perfect. Steve Pasarkowitz, thank perfect. you so much for being here. You, my friend, are here almost every single year. I think I've been here nine of the ten. That's pretty and, impressive. And the nine were in a row. Yeah. I think I might have missed the first one. but. So clearly you have a dedication to this event. Why are you so connected with the Kiwanis Club of South Lake as far as the uh, beneficiaries are concerned? And after 10 years of the running tournament itself, it's got a lot of momentum to it. And our part of showing up as celebrities is really the easy part. It is, and it's fun too, right? It is fun. I think I've got 10 guys here today, uh, most of which have played a number of years. So, um, and we're all about giving back as well. So, so the missions of the two organizations really parallel themselves, and it's a, it's a great merger. Steve, you are a phenomenal interviewer. I don't even have to ask you more questions because you said that so eloquently. Okay, we'll move on to year 11. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, 11th <laughs> annual, you'll know you'll catch this guy, Steve Pasarkowitz. Perfect. Right here at Champions Gate Golf Course for the 11th annual Kiwanis Club of South Lake Celebrity Golf Tournament. I'm going to hold you to it, sir. Wonderful, we'll see you then. Sounds good. Thank you. Okay. I'm strictly a female, female, and my and free.